So now I'm going to have a go at the passing cars exercise in Codility. It's in lesson five prefix sums and it's the final one in that lesson. Uh, it's a painless exercise so it shouldn't be too difficult. So let's get straight into it. Okay, a non-empty array A consisting of n integers is given. The consecutive elements of array A represent consecutive cars on a road. An array contains only zeros and or ones. Zero represents a car traveling east and one represents a car traveling west. The goal is to count passing cars. We say that a pair of cars, PQ, where zero is less than or equal to P, which is less than Q, which is less than N, is passing when P is traveling to the east and Q is traveling to the west. For example, consider the array such that the array is zero, one, zero, one, one. We have five pairs of passing cars, zero, one, zero, three, zero, four, two three two four write a function that given the non-empty array of n integers returns the number of pairs of passing cars the function should return minus one if the number of passing cars exceeds one billion for example given that array that we saw before the function should return five as explained above Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n is an integer in the range of 1 to 100,000. So that's the number of the length of the array, the number of cars. And each element of the array is an integer, which is either 0 or 1. Okay, um, so I think what we, we can do this with one pass through the array, I think. What we, I think, have to do is every time we see a zero, that's a car travelling east, we have to remember how many eastbound cars we've seen. And then every time we see a westbound car, we can add all the eastbound cars we've seen to the total. So, for example, we see zero and we remember we've seen one eastbound car. Then we see a one and we then say that the number of passing cars is one. Then we see zero and we increment the eastbound cars to two. The total is currently one. Then we see a one. We had the number of eastbound cars we've seen. So now we've got three and then we see another one and we add the number of eastbound cars again. And we've got five, so I think that that's reasonably straightforward. And I think that is a painless task because we can do it with just one pass through the array quite simply. I suppose the temptation where we might go wrong is if we were to take a look, see an eastbound car and then loop through the entire array to count up all the westbound cars. I think it's much simpler than that. So I've pre-prepared this method, um, passing cars class uh, with the main method, and I just need to write the solution. So I think this is really very simple. So I'm gonna say east, int eastbound cars seen equals zero. And then for each car in the array, if A equals zero, it's an eastbound car. So I'll add one to the eastbound car scene. And I also want another total passing cars. I can just say else because I know the array is only populated with zeros and ones. Else passing cars incremented by the eastbound car scene, and I think that that is as simple as that. And then return passing cars. 
so let's just take the example um, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. let's just test it with that And we're hoping to see five. Just a punctuation error there. And five, so that's correct. So this seems to be completely straightforward to me. I, I think that the problem the, th the thing to avoid and, and the thing that would would be okay if you were doing it with just a small array like this but the thing to avoid is to avoid seeing an eastbound car and then so we see a zero and then we loop through the remainder of the array and count one two three and then find another zero and count four five uh, that that would be tempting to do that but that's not going to be efficient with a hundred thousand cars um, now let me just think of corner cases so n is an integer within the range of one to one hundred thousand i'm just going to test it i can't see it going wrong but i'm just going to test it with one value we'd expect the passing cars to be zero if we put a car in the other direction zero I can't see anything going wrong. The only thing is, I suppose I could have, or I did forget this. The function should return minus one if the number of passing cars exceed one billion. So if passing cars is greater than one billion, Turn minus one, else return passing cars. And I, I can't quite test that without writing a massive array here, but I'm sure they'll throw that at us in the um, in the analysis at the end. So any other corner cases? No, I can't think of anything. I think that that's reasonably straightforward. So I'm just going to submit that. And hopefully I think that that will score 100%. I just run the tests on it. It's just given us the one example out of the description. And that's worked okay. So now I'll submit it and see. I'm hoping for 100%. I can't see it going wrong really, but maybe there's a corner case. It's taken nine minutes. It was a painless task. Ninety percent. Okay, so something's failed. Wrong answer. Large, big answer. Expected minus one. Got minus something very big. Okay, I'll just go back to that and look at the description. Okay, I think I've worked out what I've done wrong here and that is that the integer value here is probably overflowing and that's why we're seeing a minus value. So what I need to do is at this point, if passing cars 
exceeds 1 billion then we return minus 1 here and then here we don't need to worry about this check so what was happening is the passing cars was overflowing the integer going back to a negative value um, at the end the value was less than 1 billion but in fact it had already overshot 1 billion and um, that's why I got 90% so uh, I think that that will be correct now so I'll just resubmit that and see I'll run the tests on it again um, I, yeah that's worked and submit again and hopefully this time 100% I was overconfident there um, I didn't consider that the array might over the integer might overflow I'm reasonably confident now that I'll get 100% and there we go 100% so uh, I was a bit overconfident there on the large big answer which exceeded 1 billion so that's it for now so thanks for watching